Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach and the host of the Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share this about substance abuse. I want to be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine, being buried alive, laying in a coffin, but you also know that you are not dead. You don't know how to open the coffin and push the enormous weight of the dirt. You just know you're laying in that coffin and you're thinking, am I going to suffocate? But you think about banging on the coffin lid that maybe you can unsettle that dirt upon the lid and maybe, just maybe, somebody on top might notice and start digging their way down to help you. That is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help, you know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know where to turn for help. In reality, there are probably people just standing right on top of the grave looking down. If they, could only, knew, if they only knew that you needed help, they would have helped you. Usually, though, people don't think about that when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be good at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind while you were abusing drugs and alcohol that maybe, just maybe, you might overdose? With this, I leave you with one other thought. Don't be that person laying in the coffin, banging on a lid, hoping that somebody might hear them to help you. Folks, if you feel you need help with your addiction, if you know you have an addiction, reach out to help. Reach out to me, 844-405-HELP, and let me help you take your life back before your life is gone. This segment is going to be commercial free uh, due to the length of the segment because it's drug abuse and addiction, signs, symptoms, and help for drug problems and substance abuse. Some people are able to use recreation and prescription drugs without ever experiencing negative consequences or addiction. For many others, though, Substance use can cause problems at work, at home, at school, and relationships, leaving you feeling isolated, helpless, and even ashamed. If you're worried about your own friend or family member's drug use, it is important to know that help is available. Learning about the nature of the drug abuse and addiction, how it develops, what it looks like, and why it can have such a powerful hold on your loved one, or even yourself, will give you a better understanding of the problem and how to best to deal with it. Understanding drug use, drug abuse, and addiction. People experiment with drugs for many different reasons. Many first try drugs out for curiosity, to have a good time because friends are doing it, or an effort to improve athletic performance or ease another problem, such as stress, anxiety, and depression. Use doesn't automatically lead to abuse and there is no specific level at which drug use moves from casual to problematic. It varies by individual. Drug abuse and addiction is less about the amount of substance consumed or the frequency and more to do with the consequence of the drug use. Why do some drug, drug users become addicted while others don't? As with many other conditions and diseases, vulnerability to addiction differs from person to person. Risk factor factors that increase your vulnerability include family history of addiction, abuse, neglect, or traumatic experiences in childhood, mental disorders such as depression, anxiety, early use of drugs, drug addiction, and the brain. Addiction is a complex disorder characterized by compulsive drug use. While each drug pr produces different physical effects, all abuse substances share one thing in common. Repeated use can alter the way the brain looks and functions. Taking a recreational drug causes the surge in levels of uh, dopamine in your brain, which trigger feelings of pleasure. Your brain remembers these feelings and wants them repeatedly. If you become addicted, the substance takes on the same significance as other survival behaviors such as eating and drinking. Changes in your brain interfere with your ability to think clearly, exercise good judgment, control your behavior, and feel normal without the drugs. Whether you're addicted to inhalants, heroin, Xanax, Speed, or Vicodin, 
The uncontrollable cravings to use grows more important than anything else, including family, friends, career, and even your own health and happiness. The urge to use is so strong that people, uh, that your minds find many ways to deny rationalization to the addiction. You may drastically underestimate the quantity of drugs you're taking, how much it impacts your life, and the level of control you have over your drug use. Give me one second, let me just grab this here. There we go. How drug abuse and addiction can develop. People who experiment with drugs continue to use them because substance either makes them feel good or stops them from feeling bad. In many cases, however, there is a fine line between regular use to drug abuse and addiction. Very few addicts are able to recognize when they've crossed that fine line. While frequency for the amount of drugs consumed don't themselves constitute drug abuse or addiction, they can often be indicators of drug problems. Problems can sometimes sneak up upon you as your drug use gradually increases over time. Smoking a joint with friends at a weekend or taking ecstasy at a rave or cocaine at an occasional party, for example, can change to using drugs a couple days a week to every day. The sun is playing tricks with us, folks. Let's get a little bit... I don't know if this is too much, maybe. Let's see. Hopefully this is okay. If drug fulfills a valuable need, you need to find yourself increasingly relying on it. For example, you may take drugs to calm if you feel anxious or stressed, energize if you feel depressed, or make more confident in a social situation if you normally feel shy. Or you may have started using prescription drugs to cope with panic attacks or relieve chronic pain, for example. Until you find alternative, healthier methods for overcoming these problems, your drug use will likely continue. Similarly, if you use drugs to fill a void in your life, you're more at risk of crossing the line from casual use to drug abuse and addiction. To maintain healthy balance in your life, you need to have other positive experiences to feel good in your life aside from drug use. As drug abuse takes hold, you may miss or frequently be late for work, school, and your job performance may progressively uh, get worse and you start to neglect social and family obligations. Your ability to stop using is eventually compromised. What, became, uh, what began as voluntary choice has turned into physical and psychological need. The good news is, is that the right treat, with the right treatment and support, you can con contract the destructive effects of the drug use and regain control of your life. Signs and Symptoms of Drug Use and Drug Addiction Common Signs and Symptoms of Drug Abuse you're neglecting your responsibilities at school, work, your home, flunking classes, skipping class, uh, work, neglecting your children because of your drug use. You're using drug under dangerous conditions or taking risks while, while high, such as driving while on drugs, using dirty needles or having unprotected sex. Your drug, is, your drug use is getting you into legal trouble, such as arrest for disorderly conduct, driving under the influence, and stealing to support the drug habit. Your drug use is causing problems in your relationships, folks, such as fights with your partner or family members or unhappy boss or loss of old friends. Common signs and symptoms of drug addiction. You've built up a drug tolerance. You need to use more of the drug to experience the same effects that you used to attain with similar amounts. You take drugs to avoid relief withdrawal symptoms. If you go too long without drugs, you experience symptoms such as nausea, relentless, uh, restlessness, I should say, insomnia, depression, sweating, shaking, and anxiety. You've lost control over your drug use. You often do drugs or use more than you planned even though you told yourself you wouldn't. You may want to stop using, but you feel powerless. Your life revolves around drug use. You spend a lot of time using and thinking about drugs, figuring out how to get them, and recovering from drug effects. You've abandoned activities you used to enjoy, such as hobbies, sports, socializing, because of your drug use. 
You continue to use drugs despite knowing it's hurting you and your family. It's causing major problems in your life, blackouts, infections, mood swings, depression, paranoia, but you continue using it anyway. Warning signs that a friend or family member is abusing drugs. Drug abusers often try to conceal their symptoms and downplay their problem otherwise known as a closet drinker or a closet drug user. If you're worried about a friend or a family member that might be using drugs, look for the following warning signs. These are physical warning signs. Bloodshot eyes, pupils larger or smaller than usual, changes in appetite or sleep patterns, sudden weight loss or weight gain, deterioration of physical appearance, personal grooming habits, unusual smells on breath, body, or clothing, Tremors, slurred speech, slurred speech, or impaired condition. Or co coordination, I'm sorry. These are behavioral signs of drug use. Drop in attendance and performance at work, at school. Unexplained need for money or financial problems may borrow to steal to get it. Engaging in secretive and suspicious behavior. Sudden change in friends, favorite hangouts and hobbies. Frequently getting into trouble, fights, accidents, illegal activities. These are psychological warning signs of drug abuse. Unexplained change in personality or attitude. Sudden mood swings, irritability, angry outbursts. Periods of unusual hyperactivity, agitation, and giddiness. Lack of motivation appears lethargic or spaced out. Appears fearful, anxious, paranoid, with no reason whatsoever. These are warning signs of commonly abused drugs. Marijuana, if you suspect anyone. Glassy red eyes, loud talking, inappropriate laughter followed by sleepiness. Loss of interest, motivation, weight gain or loss. If you suspect somebody taking Xanax or Valium, here are some of the signs. Contracted pupils, drunk-like, difficulty concentrating, clumminess, poor judgment, slurred speech, sleepiness. If you suspect somebody doing crystal meth or coke, here are some of the signs. Dilated pupils, hyperactivity, euphoria, irritability, anxiety, excess talking, followed by depression or excess sleeping at odd times. Make a long periods of time without eating or sleeping, weight loss, dry mouth, and uh, running nose. If you suspect anyone of sniffing glues, aerosols, or vapors. Here are some of the signs. Watery eyes, impaired vision, memory and thought, secretions from the nose or rashes around the nose and mouth, headaches, nausea, appearance of intoxication, drowsiness, poor muscle control, changes in appetite. If you suspect anybody hallucinating from LSD or PCP, here are some of the signs. Dilated pupils, bizarre and irrational behavior including paranoia, aggression, and hallucinations, mood swings, detachment from people, absorption with self or other ops, slurred speech, and last but not least, if you suspect anyone doing heroin, they might have signs like contracted pupils, no responsive pupils to light, needle marks, sleeping at unusual times, sweating, vomiting, coughing, sniffing, twitching, loss of appetite. These are some of the warning signs for teen drug abuse. While experimenting with drugs doesn't automatically lead to drug abuse, early use is a risk factor for developing more serious drug abuse and addiction. Risks of drug abuse also increases greatly during times of transition such as changing schools, moving, or divorce. The challenge for parents to distinguish between normal, often uh, volatile ups and downs of the teen years and red flag substance abuse include the following. Having bloodshot eyes or dilated pupils, using eye drops to try to mask these signs, skipping class, declining grades, suddenly getting into trouble at school, missing money, valuables, or prescriptions at from home, acting un uncharacteristically isolated, withdrawn, angry, or depressed, Dropping one group of friends for another, being secretive about the new peer group. Loss of interest in old hobbies, lying about new interests and activities. Demanding more privacy, locking doors, avoiding eye con contact, and sneaking around. Getting help for drug abuse and drug addiction. 
recognizing that you have a problem is the first step to the road of recovery, one that takes tremendous courage and strength. Facing your addiction without minimizing the problem or making excuses can feel frightening and even overwhelming, but recovery is within reach. If you are ready to make changes and willing to seek help, you can overcome your addiction and build a satisfying, drug-free life for yourself. Support is essential in addiction recovery. Don't try to do it alone. It's all too easy to get discouraged and rationalize just one more hit or pill. Whether you choose to go to rehab, rely on self-help programs, get therapy, or take self-drug addiction is much easier when you have people who can learn on, uh, lean on for encouragement, comfort, and guidance. Support can come from your family members, from close friends, therapists or counselors, of, um, other recovering addicts, healthcare providers, people from your faith, and from your community. When a loved one has a drug problem, if you suspect that a friend or a family member has a drug problem, here are a few things you can do. You can speak up, talk to the person about your concerns, and offer your help and support, without being judgmental, of course. The earlier addiction is treated, the better for all involved. Don't wait for your loved one to hit the bottom. Take care of yourself. Don't get so caught up in someone else's drug problem that you neglect your own needs. Make sure that you have people you can talk to and lean on for support for yourself. And stay safe. Don't put yourself in dangerous situations. Avoid the self-blame. You can support a person with a substance abuse problem and encourage treatment, but you can't force an addict to change. You can't control your loved one's decisions. Let the person accept responsibility for his or her own actions, an essential step along the way to recovery for drug addiction. And please don't attempt to punish, threaten, bribe, or preach to the person. Try to be a martyr. Avoid emotional appeals that may only increase feelings of guilt and the compulsion to use drugs. Don't cover up or make excuses for the drug abuser or shield them from negative consequences of their behavior. Don't take over their responsibilities, leaving them with no sense of importance or dignity. And don't hide or throw out the drugs. And don't argue with the person with, uh, when they are high. And don't take drugs with the drug abuser, of course. And don't feel guilty or responsible for another one's behavior. Folks, as you can tell, this was a, a lengthy one. Uh, entitled Drug Abuse and Drug Addiction, Signs, Symptoms, and Help for uh, Drug Problems and Substance Abuse. Uh, you need to understand drug use, drug abuse, and addiction. And uh, why do some drug, uh, drug users become addicted while others don't? Because it could be in their family history, uh, abuse, neglect, or traumatic experience they had as a child, mental disorders such as depression they might be suffering from, or anxiety, and uh, they could have maybe also started early utilizing drugs. Um, drug addiction on the brain, uh, what, um, what it triggers, uh, taking a recreational drug, drug causes a surge in levels of dopa, uh, dopamine in your brain, which trigger feelings of pleasure, and that feeling makes your brain want to have more. Um, also, that uh, changes in your brain interfere with your ability to think clearly, uh, exercise good judgment, control your behavior, and feel normal. Um, how drug abuse and addiction can develop, problems can sometimes sneak up to you. Uh, also, um, you might utilize it a lot more because you feel that it ha your, the uh, drug fulfills a valuable need that you might feel that it has. Uh, you can also try to fill a void in your life with using drugs. And uh, once drug abuse takes hold, it's hard to, to get rid of. Uh, signs and symptoms of drug abuse and drug addiction. You're neglecting your responsibilities at school, work, or home, flunking classes, skipping work, neglecting your children. You're using drugs under dangerous conditions or taking risks while high, such as driving uh, while on drugs, using dirty needles, or having unprotected sex. Uh, your drug use is getting you into legal troubles, such as arrest for disorderly conduct, DWI, 
uh, and also for uh, shoplifting or stealing or theft, for uh, supporting your drug habit, your drug users causing problems in your relationships such as fights with your partner or family members, an unhappy boss or lost of old friends. Common signs and symptoms of drug addiction, you've built up drug tolerance, you take drugs to avoid or relieve withdrawal symptoms, you lost control um, over your drug use, your life revolves around drug use. Your abandoned activities you used to enjoy, you continue to use drugs despite knowing it's hurting you and your family. Warning signs that your family family members is abusing drugs. Physical warning signs are bloodshot eyes, changes in personality, appetite, sleep patterns, uh, physical appearance. Your breath has uh, and, and body and clothing have a weird uh, smells to them, tremor, slurred speech, and impaired coordination. Behavioral signs could include um, attendance and performance at work, unexplained need for money and financial problems. Psychological warning signs could be personality and attitude change, mood swings, irritability, angry outbursts. Um, the only other one I really want to just go over really quick, these are the don'ts. If you know somebody has drug issues, Please don't attempt. Please do not attempt to punish, threaten, bribe, or preach to them. Do not try to be a martyr. Avoid emotional pleas that may only increase feelings of guilt and compulsion to use drugs. Do not cover up and make excuses for the drug abuser or uh, shield them from any negative consequences. Do not take over their responsibilities, leaving them with no sense of importance. Do not hide or throw out drugs. Do not argue with the person while they're high. Do not take drugs with the drug abuser, of course. And do not feel guilty or responsible for another person's behavior. Folks, the only plug that I really have is for Larry Geist from the Geist Academy. 516-458-2741. He can help with all this. This was lengthy. All this, he can help. He's an addiction recovery coach, a life coach. He is what I am, only 30 years plus more experience. So please reach out to Larry Geist from the Geist Academy at 516-458-2741 or you can Google him at www.odysseyconsultant.org. If you need help from me, call me at 844-405-HELP. Let me help you take your life back. I hope you have a great day, I hope. And I pray that you have a drug-free, alcohol-free rest of your life. And may God bless you. And if you need help, 844-405-HELP. And let me help you take your life back. May God bless you.